Three years ago, Jagex decided to close down Bounty Hunter because of a poor design that benefited gold farmers a lot. Thousands of PKers quit because of this update, but now Bounty Hunter is finally back. And I got three of my accounts ready for the update, a combat 88, combat 111, and my main account that's combat level 126. 10 hours into recording this video, I found an amazing method to PK players in Bounty Hunter, but before that, let's start from the beginning. We got 10 seconds left, a lot of people are here in the Ferox Enclave waiting for the update to hit. And it's time. Man, look at it! It's so beautiful. This is how the new bounty hunter works. Once you have geared up and is ready, you enter the arena and you get sent out to one of many spawn locations. I have found my target. That. Oh my, that's a beautiful kill on my target. QLD is stuff. Wait, I got an emblem. This could actually be good loot. There's so many people, it's crazy how active it is. 2 mil PK, thank you very much. Once you have an esoteric emblem, you can upgrade it 10 times by killing your target inside of Bounty Hunter. Oh! <laughs> I whacked him with the VLS. The VLS is just so strong. How did I survive that? I'm so lucky. Uh... I wasn't venged, but I thought I was venged. Anyway, we got historic emblem tier 3. Oh, we got his whip as well. Okay. Wait, I can PG this guy. Oh, uh, no, I'm, I'm an evil man. I'm an evil man. I have noticed that a lot of players are rushing the people who just enters the creator. So I'm gonna test this out. Uh, I just do it him. Oh, we two hit him. Did he get protect from item on? 500k. Come on. Oh, 60, 66 to 64. But we now have a tier... Uh, we got a tier 4 right now. We're looking pretty solid. This style of Venge PKing normally doesn't result in a lot of loot. It's a lot more focused on the emblems, but the 2 mil loot key is always nice to see. Something else that's also nice to see is today's video sponsor Enlisted, which is a World War II multiplayer shooter game. Enlisted has a strong focus on historical authenticity while keeping gameplay dynamic and players always in the middle of action. Enlisted is available on PC, Xbox Series X and S, and PlayStation 5, as well as PS4 and Xbox One. There is no purchase necessary, simply follow the link to download and play for free. If there is anything I need to point out in this game, it's gotta be the graphics. Absolutely amazing. And also the movement in the characters are very smooth and fine to watch. Do you like vehicles? Because there's plenty of them in the game that you can have fun with. You can drive around in cars, tanks, airplanes, bombers and other vehicles. The game is free to play and you can find the link in the description down below. I can imagine it's kinda odd seeing me PK with the Vesta longsword. This weapon was released 4 years ago with the original bounty hunter but it was pretty much useless for the last 3 years and I unlocked this weapon on 2 of my accounts and now I can finally use it. And some random guy is dead. 1 mil. There he is. Karasi camper. Is he not gonna school up? Yep, he's dead. That should be a tier upgrade. Good fight sir. Good fight. And we got a tier number 5. Man, this guy thought that was funny. There is a 30 second timer that prevents you from leaving Bounty Hunter once you have attacked someone. So a lot of rushers, spectabbers, and people who just got spectabbed are stuck behind this barrier. So I decided to attack them. Oh my god, I got someone. That's full bandos. No skull though. Ooh, B-Ring, uh, I'll take that. Oh, I'm pretty lucky with that kill. Four mil, Abyssal Dagger. <laughs> oh man, I got that kill. <laughs> This is so smart, his name is Exit Arena. It looks like people are trying to scroll up on him. Maybe I should do this idea. Oh, double kill. He had Prim's torch. Oh my God, he was risking a lot. Where did he die, where did he die? Was it, it was the ice area, right? 
I don't know where he died. Was it here? This could have been the area. And I missed it. I think this is where I died. I hate this game. Oh, I killed someone. I was AFK for so long. 5.5 mil because he misclicked on me. Did someone just misclick on me again? He's trying to go in. And he's 63. Come on. Big hit. Oh, 44 for the KO. Turkey. Oh, we caught someone. Um, exit arena. What was that? I was looking away. I was looking at the other screen. The Void Waker is so much better than BOS, I believe. 740k. Oh, I just won it. Did I smite him? There's no way I smited that on one hit. Wait. <gasps> oh my... We actually... We smited a Void Waker. Oh my... That was... Amazing. I got a Void Waker. <laughs> <laughs> Losing that... What was it? 30, 40 mil on a double death. And then not getting that bandos. It was all worth it just for this. 176 mil. Thank you very much. This Bandos clip I mentioned, I was so close to deleting it because I was so upset, but he got down to like 20 HP and I hit a zero with a Vista Longsword. He was schooled up. I was very upset. Oh. Attack me. And he's dead. Raccoon Juice is down. Not my loot. Oh, loot on the ground. Uh, we got uh, like 200k. And someone said, to it. Finally, I got a key. Uh, what do we get? What do we get? Oh, we got the AGS. <laughs> no. Brother. Was he smited or did he forget to protect the item? I don't know, but I'm happy. 14 mil. And we killed someone in uh, that. He put up the question. <gasps> Not my job. This. Torex. He was only risking full Torex for 500k. And we two hit him. Full carols. We got a 3 mil PK of full carols. Thank you. And we also got a bonus key of 750k. <coughs> Smite it. I'm sorry for my voice and for coughing. I've had a flu the entire week, but I've been addicted to Bounty Hunter and I really wanted to get this video out. Uh, as you can see, I smited this man. He had an AGS, but it wasn't my loot, so I didn't get the AGS and some random guy got it. And we killed a lot of people and didn't get the loot, so we can potentially have missed out on many more smites. He double a just me and he died. 700k. And this guy is dead. Whoa, is this? Not my kill. I found skill specs. I almost got skill specs. <coughs> Skills makes kill me. I have a genuine question. Do you like when I do video ideas like this where I try to be creative and do something different? Or would you prefer me getting a tier 10 emblem and make a video of that? If you like this idea, make sure to leave a like. Oh my god. That was a beautiful kill. Um, we got a key as well. What do we get? What do we get? <gasps> oh no, a second one. We got a second one. He didn't protect the item. He did not protect the item. A second Void Waker in, in a video. I'm up like 450 mil right now. <laughs> oh, man. I'm so happy. Thank you. I'll take that straight to the bank. After two days of Bounty Hunter, my BH points is only 28. I kind of moved away from killing targets and focusing on killing people at the exit. And with these 28 points, I can buy myself 24 Karam ones. And to hit a full DHer. Good fighter. 1.8 mil. 
Um, one hit, 1.5 mil, okay. Oh, is that fresh again? Was it smited? Man, not my key again. I could, that could potentially have been a smited Vesta longsword. Oh, Sherp Tree is down for a double key. Oh no, he, he had just PK'd someone and I PK'd him. Coughing so much, my flu is getting worse. <gasps> 23 mil. Elder Maul PK! That's the guy! Ah oh, man, that's a good PK. We, we take these. Light bear. Not many people use light bear. And he had killed some noob for 300k. I'll take that too. And this video's final price check, there's probably some items I've missed. But we made approximately... 436 million GP. Not too bad. Before we quit, let's see how many times I died. And according to Runelight, I died a total of 18 times. Yeah, you didn't see that in the video. And once again, thank you to Enlisted for sponsoring today's video. And if you use my link in the description down below, you get a free bonus, 3 days of premium time, and several orders for troops and weapons. I hope to see you there.